up YouTube. This is Bandit Dave coming back here. I'm just gonna get this door closed for you. It's been a very, very long time since I've done my uh, last video. Oh boy, it uh, yesterday it was like 61, 62 degrees out here, and today it's uh, a little above freezing. But I still got a sweatshirt on because it is uh, not nearly as bad as the past few weeks. Uh, we were actually dealing with a lot of snow, and here you can see there's actually. For the most part, I don't even think there is any from the from the weather that we recently had. But uh, it's been quite a few weeks here since um, I've had a chance to actually run the SS. So I'm going to take it out for a ride. I'm going to introduce the GTO project to you now. I will tell you it's going to be a lot slower <laughs> than any of my other stuff, which is saying it's going to be really slow since <laughs> I haven't had a chance to do a lot of work on these guys. But poor, poor girl, here she is looking sad. Now what we're going to try to do here is get her started. And because I'd like to take her out, it's been sitting here for quite a while. So let's give it a shot and see what, what's doing. Okay, that's a good start. Here we go. Oh boy. Woo, there we go. Oh shit. <laughs> I was a little worried about that. So, but she's. All right. Got her fired up. Let's get her going again. Had to shut it down because uh, radio was on and unfortunately caught uh, something. I don't want to uh, end up having any issues with copyright and things like that. So, uh, so far, so good. Check in. We're good. We're warm. Car feels good. Surprising how nice it feels in here. <laughs> I, I missed this after driving that other car for such a long time. So, um, we're going to get some uh, driving videos. What I end up doing is probably on the way home, I'm going to put some stuff on the outside of the car, get some videos of uh, driving. Um, hopefully I won't lose any of the stuff <laughs> when I'm doing it. That would be the uh, worst possible thing that can happen. But, um, all right, off we go. Let's rock and roll. youtubers I'm back here I'm trying I'm actually gonna try I've got both my GoPros going um, I think what's probably the best way to go I'm gonna do it to go this way with it because I gotta go end up going out to low so I'm gonna take the back way it's been a while since I've run this thing so I'm not even sure how I'm doing as far as uh, tire pressure and stuff like that I mean I when I tell you it's probably been almost three weeks I was had my fingers crossed there to make sure that the uh, battery uh, didn't uh, take a dump on me. It was a little dicey there originally on the first uh, fire, but it looks like we're good to go. Feels great. Um, tell you, every time, man, every time I drive this thing, I re-fall in love with it. One of the best decisions, I was actually talking to a good buddy of mine who had uh, asked me, you know, why I got rid of the truck, and um, I said I would talk about that more later on, but uh, just uh, point in my life where you know I, I needed I have a lot of projects you guys see the um, SS, uh, you know I have the SS but I also have the cutlass project where I'm doing swaps and I've done a lot of swaps over the years um, this one's a bit more involved and now with two kids I got to move fairly slow when I do that so and by fairly slow I mean it takes me years <laughs> to get stuff done versus um, you know a few months and um, I uh, Every time I do a project, it gets a little bit more and more. Uh, I can try to up the ante a little bit more and more uh, with the technology I'm using this time. It's the blower, uh, better brakes, better suspension, um, and um, you know I kind of consider the the cutlass kind of the, the culmination of what I've been trying to do. And I've been playing with the idea of whether or not I should uh, um, sell the cutlass and get a. Uh, okay, I'm going. This guy is just driving unbelievably slow, so I'm getting on this. Wow, these tires, man. <laughs> these tires are very hard. <laughs> this thing is uh, does not like this cold weather. So the, that uh, that whole thing with um, both of the, um, with the, I guess it's, what is it? Uh, I guess it's the BF Good, not BF Goodrich, what I'm talking about. Bridge Duns, Bridge Duns. Uh, on this car, and there's a cop back there, so I gotta kind of be uh, be careful. But uh, with the uh, Bridgestones, they do harden up considerably, and um, I was hoping that the little bit warmer weather, a little bit warmer ground, would help things out. It does not look like that uh, was the case. So, um, you know, we're 
what I say? I think I think it was for at least two and a half weeks since I had a chance to get this car out, or at least since I started it. So it's been probably closer to three or four weeks since the last time I did it. Uh, and about, I'd say, two weeks since I did a video. Um, but I wanted to use this time for the video to go through like the, the different projects, you know, what I'm planning on doing on each of the cars. Been toying with the idea of selling the Cutlass. Um, not because I don't like it. Um, I absolutely love the car. But... Um, I'm at a point now where I, you know, with the kids and a lot of work and career decisions and stuff like that that they're going on, I'm considering, um, you know, I have the GTO, uh, have the SS, I'm not getting rid of this anytime soon, and then um, waiting and getting my 69 Firebird to do the project on it. It'll probably be an LS, and if, if um, things work out, then maybe... Maybe I'll get myself an LT4 for it, uh, but they're still like 10 grand, so um, I don't know about some of these guys <laughs> on YouTube. There's a lot of really good guys on there doing a lot of great videos, but I am not a, a very rich man. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I did afford this car, but, you know, I traded a car in uh, as a result and um, got a pretty good deal on my truck. And uh, by doing that, I was able to put a good down payment on, on this vehicle. And I still am struggling with the idea of whether or not to put the blower on. But I think what I'm going to do, I can always buy all that uh, LSA stuff again. I know exactly what it is. And I'm going to, I still promise you guys, I'm going to do a um, uh, list, build list of all the parts and everything. Because you know, I've been talking about doing that for a while. I just never got to it. Um, but hopefully when it starts to warm up a little bit. But I'll take you in this on this uh um, this episode and uh, we'll go through the GTO build uh, what, what we're planning on doing on that just kind of introduce the car and um, go through some of the things I still have left to do on the Cutlass and then um, you know kind of wrap things up a little bit I'd like to give you guys a little bit of road videos here just because this thing you know it's a little bit warmer get a little action videos and just kind of go through now what I was planning on doing with the SS since I got you here installed that I know <laughs> I know uh, it's kind of ridiculous but when it's literally single digits outside my fat patootie ain't gonna be out there doing any work I just I am I can't believe I'm saying I'm too old but I'm 36 now and I feel like I'm 86 uh, and uh, without getting into too much too much detail um, I used to be in a lot better shape than just adjust the camera a little there so in case you, it's a nice low view low angle of me uh, you want to make sure you get all this this gorgeousness um but i used to be well I, I used to be this size then i lost 80 pounds and now i get to be this size again and um mainly because i hurt my back pretty bad a lot of family things going on with um uh, older um like my grandmother and things like that and uh, getting married and then having kids and then i stopped going to the gym but i did not stop eating like i was going to the gym so that's that's how you end up with this uh, beautiful physique. But uh, I'm sorry, I digress. Uh, car stuff. So SS. So I was gonna do the. Um, I got the Rotofab intake. Um, a good buddy of mine of uh, Diablo Formula Racing. I'll put the links down uh, uh, underneath the video. Uh, he's gonna actually be helping me out with uh, adding on um, headers, uh, X pipe. Um, and it's going to be Cook's Headers, Cook's uh, X-Pipe with the Greeny Cats, because I'm going to keep everything legal. And um, I'm going to do the either I-Box Springs, or I'm going to wait and get the um, 
springs from the folks over in um, Australia, and, and damn it, if I can't remember the name of it at this time, but I will, if I remember, I'll put it down in the bottom there, but um, good buddy at um, ssonly.com, g8only.com, Joe Labruza, he uh, gives awesome deals to USS guys, don't forget to check it out, look at the bottom of the screen there, that's his um, website, and uh, we'll cut you off some deals, let him know that I uh, sent you. Um, but uh, that's where I'll be getting all my stuff for my SS. And actually, he's not only SS stuff. So uh, he's also d can do other things like other exhausts from other companies, Magnaflow, etc. Um, and also, I'm trying to convince him to get into selling wheels again. Apparently, he used to do that, and I really would like to get myself a pair of, I'm thinking the Stance. I think it's SF06. They're basically Z28 replicas, but I can actually get them in a, in a offset that fits the car. There's a lot of guys using the Z28 reps that I'm sorry, that, to pardon my French, but they look ass on the cars. That They're sticking way too far out. And I told you, you know, early on, I am a big baby. <laughs> I will not be rolling the fenders on this car. So, um, but, uh, you know, at this point, I'm going to just do the kind of naturally aspirated approach. I'm not going to do a cam or anything like that at this point because I kind of want to evolve the build. And every time I do something to the car, I'm going to take it to the track and get some times on it. To let you know, like this, the best this thing ran was like a, a mid 13, I think it was a 13 5, I think it was the last one I showed you. And we got into like the 13 4 range, and I didn't have my stuff with me, it was just an impromptu like pull over into Echo and run it. So I apologize for not having any video on that, but that was super late in the season, and I was just surprised that they had uh, been open to um, they were actually open. And uh, I was able to get a couple passes in, and it was 13 fours. And I got it, and um, it was a 13, was it a 13 three? I forget. I'll have to go back and look at the time slips. But, it, you know, it, we're basically getting right near the advertised time of the SS. So I was, I was, I was good enough with that. What I would like to do is do the, the uh, Rotofab intake. And then after the Rotofab intake, we'll do the, um, We'll do the uh, headers, X pipe, and tune because you can't do those without doing a tune. Um, because if unless you feel like blowing your motor or damaging, you know, burning up a piston or something like that, and then by all means, you know, screw your stuff up. It's not, you know, I'm not paying for it, but I warned you. Um, don't, we'll not be doing any type of converter or anything like that. And I don't, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably not going to do a cam until I decide to do the um, do the LSA blower. And I'm not even sure I'm going to do a cam when I put the blower on. And I know that it's, you know, leaving um, power on the table and everything, but it's one of those things where I'd like to keep evolving uh, while I'm working on the car. And, yeah, I'll have the top pulled, but um, in reality, um, I could just keep doing that in, in series, um, one after another, and then get times on and let you guys know how it goes. So, um we're almost down near the uh, low, so I'll, I'll switch over. But you know, this is gonna be a fairly long video, so I, uh, you know, hopefully hang in there. I, you know, and um, make sure if, if if you're cutting off now, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I just got a lot of catching up to do, so this is gonna be a big video. <laughs> but it's been down for a while, so uh, thanks a lot, guys, for um, for um, actually we're we're significantly over a hundred uh, subscribers. Honestly, I didn't even think I'd hit that high. Uh, at this point, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. I've been getting a lot of different new subscribers, and uh, make sure you guys watch the videos, and please comment. If you got anything you want to hear about, you want to look at, let me know, all right? I appreciate you guys. Appreciate the great comments, great questions you're asking. Uh, all the feedback is fantastic, so um, please stay tuned. There's a lot more to come in this uh, episode. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm back. Well, we're going to do some shots from the top of the car. Ah, it was nice owning that GoPro. My guess is that it's going to go flying at some point, so let's, let's give it a shot. All right, I think we're up and running again. Yeah, we are. All right, rock and roll.
Okay guys, how you doing? Uh, before I uh, finish up this video, I just wanted to do a quick rundown of the GTO. So we're gonna pop in the garage here. Sorry for the extreme close up here. All right guys, just get this guy going. Gonna finish up the uh, this episode with just a quick video of the, uh, there we go. Got an extreme close up of my face there. Sorry about that. Um, gonna do a quick uh, rundown of the GTO. And, uh, yep. Uh, man, so, yeah, you saw the video of the brakes on here. Not much has happened. Um, pretty darn cold in here. And it's, here's some of my uh, Christmas stuff. <laughs> here I got my WeatherTech uh, liners from uh, SS Only. And, um, actually, no, the WeatherTech came from, my wife got them from somewhere. But the Rotofab came from SS Only. So, this is a 68 um, GTO. Uh, this car was actually, it's been in my family for over 20 years now. Um, my dad originally had a 68 GTO. It was a Vidora green car. Uh, it was a 404 barrel uh, TH400 car, which this car actually is, and believe it or not, this car is red now, uh, But because it, it was, uh, I guess, painted in a hurry before we got it, but it's got some of the standard uh, GTO issues, if you're familiar with this car, or actually A-bodies in general. Um, but this car is actually a Vidora green car, so it is very dirty. Don't let the... Uh, um, Let's see here. See if we can get this open. There we are. All right. So the light is pretty terrible. Actually, you know what I can do? Let me. Let me I'm gonna just walk over here real quick and we'll grab the uh, super light and uh, we'll see if we can uh, shed a little light on the subject, eh? That's my kid's bike. But uh, whoa! Right in my face. All right. Let's see if that will help. Boom. There we go. All right. How's that? Put a little light on the subject. This, uh, as you can see here, she be a little rough. Now, obviously, we at one point got this car. It was in better shape. Unfortunately, life gets in the way. And um, she sat outside for quite a while. And uh, it's got an Edelbrock intake on it. It's the stock heads. Believe that these are, man, it's been a while. I don't think these are 62 heads. I, I would have to look back up, but you can see it's got the, you know, the paint's flaking off. This actually, this motor is rebuilt, so I won't be doing anything to it. But it's kind of a uh, bit of a surprise of what I plan on doing ultimately to this car. But um, it's uh, automatic, his, her shifter. And let me uh, bring her around here. Okay, here you go. Just a shot of the interior. It's a his, her shifter, uh, black interior. Um, you can actually see if I can get the light in here close enough without blinding you. You can see. See that strip right there? Vador green. This car was originally a green car, and we found the build sheet on it, and it, that's what it was. God, it smells great in here. <laughs> Just something about that muscle car vinyl. Smells fantastic. Now, I'm noticing a little bit uh, concerning thing here. I'm seeing a little bit of drippage, um, and I think think that around my light bulbs here that it's leaking a little which means that I may have a hole in the roof which is not a great thing or at least it's leaking through seeping through somewhere but this is you know this is the uh, project as a whole and uh, you know I will put you know at the end of this some of the things I'm planning on doing but the um, quick rundown is that this is going to be I'm gonna keep it 400 obviously because the engine's still good haven't done any um, real driving on it since uh, we had it rebuilt. We only drove it maybe a few hundred miles, not even probably a thousand miles um, since we did the work on it. So, um, and then it just sat. But uh, what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna be doing brakes, probably similar to what's on the Cutlass over there. And um, so, you know, I believe that Core 3 has to set up for C5 brakes, so it'll probably be something along those lines that'll be on the car. And we're gonna do a little bit lowered suspension. We'll do the 17 inch, Rally two replicas that uh, like Ames Performance and some of those places sell like performance years and those guys. And, um, you know, the suspension will be dropped a little bit, a little bit better suspension, and I'm gonna end up doing a fuel injection on the car. So I'll be upgrading the distributor, uh, and because right now it still has the points set up with, but it actually was replaced with the Protronics ignition. So it still has that distributor with the Protronics, but I just wanna get a better distributor so I know that I'm getting a good um, healthy um, signal to the uh, fuel injection. So um, and I'm going to try to keep it looking mostly stock uh, for the most part, even though we're going to be lowering it. It's going to have the rally too, so it'll appear that way. My dad will be happy with that. Uh, I'm also going to give her a hood tack. So, you know, that's just a quick rundown on it. And, um, you know, I uh, 
We'll probably be starting, probably not within the next couple of weeks, but I'll do a little bit more in depth, kind of show you all the, all the uh, areas that really have some trouble on this. Uh, but I uh, really do appreciate you guys uh, staying tuned to the channel. Uh, if you haven't um, been here before, please uh, comment, subscribe, you know, hit that subscribe button. I think it's somewhere over there or somewhere around there. But uh, please, you know, stay tuned and uh, like it and um, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to get in touch with me for emailing, um, shoot me a message below and then I'll, I'll fire you my email. Leave your email or something along those lines and I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you if you have any questions. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, take care of each other.